Christ College, a building holding more stories than we could comprehend. Having been witness to Henry VIII, both world wars, and now enduring all the pleasures and strains of the 21st century. In 1918, an overwhelmingly high-praised pair of individuals residing in a city famed for its science and culture. Fierce rivals, their lives ripped apart as a result of lust. Christopher Rand and Philip Collier fantasised and infatuated by the same widow, Mary Clifford. Early blossoming love evolved during the heady days in Cambridge Town, drunk and delirious college days, resulting in an act of spite and deceit between the competing scholars. Christ College still echoes their story of delirium and their melancholy, a misfortune to its remaining residents. Overwhelming actions of cunning deception. A death, submerged in the water. Drowned, the rival scholar. Drunken delirium overwhelmed them both. Mary the lover shortly followed. Two deaths, one lonely lover, the competitor, the fellow. Endless searching stuck within Cambridge College grounds and halls. Nobody won and love was lost. Uh, yes, I think East Anglia is um, uh, very appropriate for um, stories of ghosts and spirits because of the nature of the landscape really. It's, always been considered very remote. It's um, lots of islands in a, a small area, a boggy, swampy land, and uh, people that didn't mix very well and uh, spent their evenings around the fire uh, telling stories, which I think is where these ghost stores originated from, many of them. Is there any reason to believe that broken lovers are an exception to the laws of science, exiled for eternity? Can old tales still haunt our modern lives? Why do we so desperately try to name the feelings we cannot process? Regardless, unworldly forces may exist or a spirit of unresolved heartbreak, spoken through the only existing reminders of past lives the buildings we so easily disregard as nothing more than bricks and furnishings. However, love and lust continue to haunt any and every existence.